Hi, I'm Ginny June from House to Home. There's no right or wrong way to carve a pumpkin, but I'm here to give you a few tips that I hope will make it that little bit easier. The first thing you've got to do is choose your pumpkin. It doesn't really matter on the size, but I go for one with less markings. And when you come to cut it, make sure you choose the flattest side possible. Right, now I'm going to start cutting the top of the pumpkin. A large knife like this one is just perfect for the job, but if you have a small saw, that's even better. Insert the knife at a 45 degree angle. This will prevent the lid from sinking when you put it back in. Now I'm going to remove the inside of the pumpkin. You can use either a metal spoon to do this, or an ice cream scoop, or even a melon baller, depending on the size of your pumpkin. When you finish removing the inside, be sure to shave off more on the side which you want to carve. Now for the really fun part. Choose a Halloween stencil to carve on the face of your pumpkin. I found these stencils at mindhomeideas.com and I'm going to go for this traditional face design. It's the black areas here that you want to cut out. To help you when you start carving, take your stencil and place on the face of your pumpkin. You can use sellotape to hold it in place. Then, take a fork and start marking around the edges of where you want to carve. The tip of a knife would work just as well here. I've already marked out this one, so all I need to do now is join the dots. Once you've finished cutting around the edges, pop the pieces out from the inside and then take a small knife and neaten up around the edges. Now, all I have to do is pop a candle inside. I've used a small tea light candle to light up this pumpkin, but if you want to be super safe, I'd go for the electric rechargeable kind. 